One of the areas store owners tend to forget are the emails that your e-commerce platform sends out. As a customer, if I get a very boring email, I tend to lose trust in that store. At the very least, I expect a logo. So let's go ahead and set those up. We'll go to our admin, and then downloads, settings, and email. Now the most basic settings are right here. There's a couple of things we can do. By default, there is an email template, and there's the default template and the plain text template. And I recommend going with the HTML template because it looks pretty decent. There used to be an email templates pack available from EDD, and that pack lets you select from a bunch of different templates. I'm not quite sure why they discontinued them. But if you're wondering why there's a drop down here, there did used to be a way of getting a lot more templates. If you're skilled with HTML, CSS, and PHP, you could design your own email templates and then select them from right here. But that does take a lot of time. For now, let's just stick with the default template and customize it. The most important thing to do is to upload our logo into the logo field. One thing to note here, there isn't any resizing of this image. So if you upload the large version, that's 2000 pixels, then your email will be 2000 pixels wide, which is quite big. So upload the exact size of the logo you want right here. Click mine. I'll select the one on my desktop. There we go. And that's 250 by 250, which is fine for me. I probably don't need to do this, but I like to be thorough. There is a preview feature, but we first have to save what we've done and go to the purchase receipt sub tab. So let's save what we've done. Click on purchase receipts and click the preview purchase receipt button. That'll show us our logo and what an email might look like. This is looking much better than an email without a logo. Let's go back to general. We'll just fill out a little bit more information. You want to make sure you add your name, 30 tech, and an email address. Now let's go to the purchase receipt. This is critical for customers. We as consumers buy things based on emotion, and then we come up with logical reasons for that purchase after the fact. So as a savvy store owner, you should always make use of thank you pages and thank you emails to give people logical reasons for why they purchased. Here's an example I used when someone signed up for a free event I put on a few months ago. So let's go back to the admin and write our own purchase email. We can go ahead and set the subject. Thanks for your purchase. And the heading, which will appear on the actual purchase email. And now the content of the email. Let's say something like, Thanks. You're going to learn so much about robots. And now let's list a couple of logical reasons. How to solder and wire your robots. And then this content can accept dynamic variables. So if we scroll down, we can see all of the things that we can put in here. So let's go ahead and add their name. That's a little bit of personalization that I like. Thanks, Patrick. And the other one that we definitely want to put in here is download list. 
This way they can actually download the files from within the email. There's a few other things we could put here, like the price or the subtotal. I'm actually fine with just this because they can get the receipts elsewhere. But if you want, you can always add extra stuff. Let's go ahead and click Save Changes. And now let's click Preview Purchase Receipt just to make sure that everything looks correct. That's looking pretty good. I might want to change my heading to make it more descriptive, but all of the logical reasons are right here in the email and all the files can be downloaded. So I'm actually pretty happy with this. Let's close this window and let's move on to the new sale notification email. In my opinion, this is one of the most important emails because running a store is a lot of work. And unless you're a brilliant marketer, you rarely see instant success. So when you do start getting sales, you need to celebrate them. So let's set a subject line. You got a new sale. And let's set a message. And in this case, since this is coming to you, it doesn't quite matter what the message is. Hey, Patrick. You just got a new sale. Celebrate. Make sure that your email's right here and you can add anyone else to this as well. And then make sure to save this. So whenever you get a new sale, you'll get this email with this subject line. And then I use a service like IFTTT. And this service watches my inbox and sends me a text whenever I get a sale. And I set up a special ringtone for that text. So every time I hear that ringtone, I celebrate. Whether I'm out to dinner, walking around, just watching TV, whatever I'm doing, I stop for 30 seconds to celebrate actually making an online sale. Now, of course, you don't need to do all of this, but do find some way to celebrate your early sales to keep you going.